These things, they are going to be detachable. So now I'm going to move on to this right here. Basically, body filler. So this thing will be seamless when I'm all done. It's ugly now, but it'll be seamless in a minute, as soon as I hit it with a sander. This is all nice and smooth now. Pretty much most of the body work's done. I got a couple little tiny holes to fill. Little tiny ones, but I'll get to that after I primer them. But um, the next phase is how I'm going to attach these towers to this platform. Okay, these are meant to be detachable, and here's my solution. These are called neo magnets. They're like super, super strong. Like, it's like really hard just to pull two of these apart, and it can be like damn near pretty dangerous, you know. It can actually like crush your finger if it's far enough apart and it snaps together. So, anyways, you wouldn't want to put this on your earlobe or anything like that. It would pretty much pinch the crap out of it and make it black and blue if you ever got it off. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put one, two, three, four, four of these on the tower, four of these on the platform, and do the same on the other side. And these things should be, they should center themselves right up exactly where they're supposed to be every time because that's what those magnets do. They don't, they don't attach crooked. They stay centered, which you'll see. But um, what I plan on doing is slapping those on there. And once they're on there, they're not going anywhere. You can't slide them. You would have to actually grab the top and pull them down. So if someone was that ruthless and they wanted to pull my towers down, they probably could. But it's not just going to fall down when I'm done. So let's get started. As you can see, I put a back plate on here. It's not part of the tower. I just put a nail right down the middle. And I'm drilling pilot holes. And these pilot holes will go into the tower. And then I'll know exactly where these are going to go on the tower. And then when I pop this off and put that little piece on here, I'll drill right through those pilot holes. And it'll be in the exact same spot it's supposed to be. That way these can't be crooked or any of that stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with that. See those holes that I already made? Those are exactly where I'm going to put the magnets on that tower. So they'll be perfectly centered. So it's like a little template. Alright, got all those drilled out. Pop that thing back off. And now look. Yep. All right. So these are going to be sunk in flush, and for that, I'm going to use this Forstner bit. All right, here's the neos side by side. Hey, thanks for keeping us here now. The score got the little tapered in. And. Uh, the when they come together, they'll be something like this. And trust me, these are very, very hard to pull apart. All right, so here's the holes that I did earlier. Got a little pointy tip on this. That's going to go right where those holes were. Something like that. 
established to run and stick with what works. Uh, Frank Gore has done this year in and year out. He's a there you go. Nice and flush. And uh, one little tapered screw right down through, through the middle of it. And this thing is not going anywhere. So check this out. It's not making sense. It will in a minute. So of course we got these holes too. Next week I got more Neo magnets coming so I can finish this project. As you can see, I'm missing a whole bunch. They'll be here in a few days, but uh, this is how that works. Watch this. There you go, it's locked in place. So, I'm gonna need those extra Neo magnets because it is a little easy to push it over from the top, but it's pretty strong down bottom, so that's your update for today.